How are you guys doing? Great. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, kill him, kill him now before he bites someone. But relax, I don't want to eat any of you because I am full. <laughs> Though I have to say, to be perfectly honest, some of the fat guys are just taunting me at this point. I'm sorry. If I had the self-restraint not to bite one of you, you should at least have the decency to not be so mouth-watering. So as you know, like all zombies, I was once an evangelical Christian, and apparently God didn't really think through the rapture that well, because we rose from the grave, and that's where it all stopped. So we just kind of hang out in the countryside looking for brains. So now there's 144,000 born-agains just kind of eating people, watching Fox News, and desperately trying to keep gay people from being happy. <laughs> so, uh, here's the thing. I've never, I, yes, I eat people, but I've I'm not a monster. We prefer the term ghoul. I've never eaten a black person, but I'm not really sure if that proves I'm not a racist or if it proves that I am. Because I'll be honest, the reason I've never eaten anyone black, they just look overdone. I'm sorry. I, I know it's in my head. They just look like they'll taste burnt. Now, Mexicans, mwah, that's a golden brown. And they're already seasoned. Let me just say something real quick about, because I'm sure there's a lot of these liberal, anti-zombie elitists here. I want you all to remember, Jesus was a zombie. Well, is a zombie. Because, you know, when he rises from the grave, you know, so when I rise from the grave, it's all, ooh, set him on fire, set him on fire. But, oh, when he does it, you're all impressed. You're like, ooh, that's magical. Who should we give our money to? Yeah, you think he looked good when he rose from the grave either? Yeah, they don't put that part in the Bible. They have the decency to keep it out, but he looked like Steve Buscemi after doing meth for three years. Okay, he looked just like Steve Buscemi. Oh. Offended by the zombie stuff. So. And also, here's something else about the liberal media. I hate the way they portray my kind in the, me in the movies. Because I get it, look. Yes, we kill people and eat them. But what's with the moaning? We're cannibals, not whores. Thanks. You ever notice Jews taste really expensive? And oddly enough, their meat goes fantastic with milk. And I've, look, here's the thing. I've never eaten a baby. I've never eaten a baby. But you all have to admit, they look falling off the bone tender. Come on. Zombie or not, they look delectable. I'll tell you what I really miss about being alive the most. It's the sex. It's not that I can't have sex as a zombie, but people thought I was kind of creepy back when I was alive. So I don't really meet women that much. So I try going on the internet, but as it turns out, the only people there willing to have sex with a dead guy are German dudes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what World War II did to the German people, but apparently they had to hate fuck their guilt away. I think that's why Germany and Japan have the most disgusting, horrifying porno in the world. It's like there's this equation. If you attempt a genocide and a, and a world war, your grandkids will have to work through it by fucking each other in bunny suits. I don't know the science of it, but it clearly works. Japanese animation porn especially confuses me because I get the idea of wanting to watch cartoon characters have sex, but not with giant hooded dragons and their eight-foot razor cocks. I mean, who was the animator who was like, hey, this movie's going great. Listen, though, I have an idea. Hear me out. What if, what if, instead of a penis, he fucks her with five robotic tentacles? I jerk off to that. 